What's up, this is Simon from Instagram.com and this video is all about using proxies for automating Instagram accounts. I'll answer questions like what's the best proxy for Instagram, how many accounts per proxy can I use and I'll also show you how you can set up your proxies in the automation tool Jarvi. But before I get into this topic, I want to welcome you to my channel if you're watching for the first time. I post weekly videos about how to grow Instagram accounts and how to generate an online income using Instagram. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point during this video, you can check out all the tools and softwares that I use in the description below this video. So let's get into it. So you might be asking yourself why everybody's talking about proxies, but you don't even know what a proxy is. So a proxy is just a server that is located somewhere in the world with its own identity. So you probably know that if you visit a website like Instagram, for example, then they see your IP address, your identity of your computer, and they know where you, where you access the website from, from, for example. And websites like Instagram, they don't like it when you access their platform with multiple accounts from the same IP address. They will probably think that you're just gonna spam the platform. And in order to avoid Instagram from blocking or banning your accounts, we need to use different identities for different accounts, which is why we use proxies. So when you use proxies, then Instagram will only see the IP addresses of the proxies and not um, the IP address of your computer where you're running your automation software on. So that's why we use proxies. So now you might ask yourself for your particular situation, do I need a proxy or do I not need a proxy? Well, if you only have one account, you don't need a proxy because then your account already runs on one IP address, which is the IP address of your computer or your VPS. So you don't have any problems. However, if you run multiple accounts, um, especially if you run more than five accounts, you definitely need proxies or even multiple proxies. And uh, the reason is because Instagram allows you to add five accounts to your Instagram application to switch in between them quickly. Um, so you can say Instagram is okay with you doing actions from the same IP address from different accounts. The real question is what do you do if you have two to three or four to five accounts? And many people use um, these numbers without proxies because they say, well, Instagram allows me to add up to five accounts to the same IP. Well, uh, while that is true, I think it's a little bit different for automation because you are automating a lot of actions with these accounts um, from the same IP address. And when Instagram sees these, these high actions, from the same IP with different accounts, it might raise a red flag to them, especially because you probably have similar settings for all of your accounts that you have added to your software. And with Instagram's new machine learning, they can recognize patterns like this and being on the same IP address and doing the same things um, will most likely raise a red flag to them, which le might lead to a uh, phone verification blocks, or even uh, they might disable your account, which is why I recommend to use proxies as soon as you run more than one account. But eventually it's your decision. But if you run more than five, you definitely need proxies. All right, so the next question is how many accounts can you run per proxy? And that's basically the same answer as uh, like the one if you even need a proxy. So if you run uh, one account per proxy, it's the safest route. If you run more than one account per proxy, it's uh, it gets more or less safe. And like, again, if you run more than five accounts, um, you shouldn't run more than five accounts per proxy. In the past, I've used sometimes three accounts per proxy. I don't do that anymore. Uh, it did work in the past and I know people are still doing this. Um, it really also depends on what kind of proxy you have. But I figured, or in my experience, um, in the long run, you will run into less problems 
if you just use one account per proxy, you get less phone verifications and um, your account has a general higher trust score, which will also uh, help you to get more reach for your accounts. Um, just um, that's why I, why I recommend to use one account per proxy. All right, so what proxy provider do I recommend? I've used many different ones in the past and the only one that I've stuck with is SSL Private Proxy. I have a link to them in the description if you want to check them out. And the reason why I've stuck with them is because the accounts that I'm running um, on these proxies are running the smoothest compared to other proxies in terms of phone verifications, email verifications, blocks or bans. And, uh, and the nice thing is that they, if you go to the website, you see they offer Instagram proxies, which basically means they are virgin proxies. So they haven't been used for Instagram before. Um, that's good because uh, when you use this proxy with your Instagram account, uh, it won't get flagged by Instagram due to other people abusing that proxy before you. So if you're looking to get proxies, I recommend you get this Instagram proxy here. And they even have, a, I think until 30th November, they have some discounts because of Black Friday. You can get, a, I think, 25 or 50% reoccurring discount for this proxy. So uh, now would be a good time to get them if you want to save some money. And um, if you get them, try to get them near a location where you, uh, where you live. So if you use your Instagram account that you're automating also on your phone, um, try to get them at a location that is near you. If not, it's not so bad. Um, they have Insta they have locations uh, in the US and in Europe, but I've also used accounts on my phone and also on proxies around the world without any issues. So don't worry if you can't find a location that is near you. But most people say it's good to have one that is near you. So I think it's a good idea. And if you want to get proxies from a specific location, you have to tell them that at the last page of the checkout, there's a section where you can add some notes and there just tell them I want a proxy for from Los Angeles, for example. And when you get the proxy, then you have to set it up in some kind of automation tool. I will show you how to do it in Jarvi because that's what I use. And what you do is you go to the website, go to my proxies, and then you want to change from IP authentication to a password authentication. And um, you do that by clicking this tab and then switching from this to this. And what you will get then is your username, your proxy username and your proxy password. And with these informations, you can go into Jarvi. So when you're in Jarvi, click on the proxy manager tab here and then you have to click on add proxy that will add a new line here. And then how you will set this up is you will get the IP, which is um, which will you will find on this tab. You will paste the IP of your proxy here and then add a colon like it says up here. And then you add your port number afterwards. This all in this section here. And then the username that we have gotten here, um, we enter in this field, the password to proxy password. And then you can assign a, an account to this proxy already. And what you will need to do before you verify it is change this, um, this URL to Instagram like it's like it's uh, here now. Because normally when you just get Jarvi, um, F for uh, for the first time, there will be uh, I think Bing.com and then the proxy won't work. So you have to change it to Instagram and then click uh, verify proxy. But um, it probably will take um, a couple of minutes or even more time until the proxy is online. So for me, last time it took me an hour until they were online. Uh, they say it takes only 10 minutes, but if it doesn't work when you first try it, just wait a couple of hours and try again then it should um, be valid. All right, that's it for today. I hope I could help you out. If I did, I'd appreciate if you'd give this video a thumbs up. And as always, comment below for any questions or future video suggestions. 
Also, if you didn't already get my ebook about how to get your first 10k followers on Instagram fast, you can download it for free now. The link's in the description. Alright, see you in the next one.